today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a crook TV YouTuber that does a lot of makeup videos. And this week is not a normal week on my channel because I'm doing a theme week again. And this week I'm using one of my favorite brands and I'm using Shroud. So I have four palettes from Shroud and some singles. You have already seen or... It's already up a video where I did a look with the Creepy Cute palette. I will leave it up here. And today, I am digging into the Divinity palette. And this was their second palette. And the first palette that they put shimmers in, it's a purple shimmer. And like, it, it's kind of a duochrome. It's like pearly pink. And yeah. I don't know what more to say. I'm going to use this palette today and I think I know what I want to do but I'm not 100% sure and it's like always like that. Maybe I should use these too. Okay so I will prime my eyes and then we just get started. Okay so I don't really know if I want to go dark <laughs> or if I want to stay light. The only thing that I know is that I want to take this one on I'm gonna do like a half cut crease because uh, that's me. <laughs> Maybe I should do a halo eye instead. Do I want to do that? No, I will save a halo eye for later this week. So I think I actually want to do something a little bit more light because tomorrow, I think, or the next video, I don't know why do I say tomorrow when I don't know. The next video, I will use the Arcana palette. That I have over here, and this is pretty dark. I maybe could do a light look with this one, but I want to do a dark look with this one, so maybe I should go a little bit lighter today. Do you even care? No, do I care? Apparently, I do. So, I think I will start with this one in my crease and then deepen it down with this one, and then I think I will take this, this, and this on my lid. I think I will do that. I will start with this one at least. And if you're wondering about my hair, I should clean my hair, but you know what? Or wash it, you maybe say. And I just don't want to, so. And also, like, I've talked about that I want to be a little bit more comfortable in my videos. Uh, maybe I should talk about this in another video, but I want to be more like don't really care how I look In my videos like sometimes I feel like I need to do my hair. I need to look proper But you know what? I do not so I'm trying to get out of that and uh, I'm usually <laughs> don't have my hair up in videos because it, fe it feels like I look strange in the camera even though I have my hair up like 98% of the time. But I shouldn't talk about that because I'm just going to do my makeup. And this palette, I remember when this came out, I was so excited for it. But I think it's the palette that I played with the least from Shroud. I don't know what it is with it. I like the colors, but I do think I have like a little bit of a struggle to know what to do with it. I don't know if it's maybe that one, or maybe it's because like the names... I can't pronounce half of them. This color I've used... I think maybe every time that I use this board. I don't be bothered by that because I really like it. So now we'll go in with Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Aphrodite is in Swedish, but it's not a a Aphrodite. I am so tired today. I don't know why. But it was me and my boyfriend, we were out uh, shopping food. And it was like we crashed, the both of us, at the same time. I was just like, I want to go home and sleep. We did not though, uh, 
but we have been like sitting in the couch doing nothing for a while but I still feel a little, a little, a little bit tired I can like remember when I was like 18, 19 and I did work like five days a week Monday to Friday and then I was going out drinking and partying Friday and Saturday Uh, it, wh where did the energy go? <laughs> and I could like manage to work properly f only on like three hours of sleep. Um, it does not work anymore. Sometimes I wonder if things happen when you turn 30. It's just like the body is like, okay, we are behind the next... We are in the next phase in life and we are so soon going to die, so I'm just going to start to shut off now. Or, I don't know. But some things happen when you get older. Elder. I think I actually will continue with Aphrodite. Aphrodite. <laughs> On my outer half of my lid, actually. And then I will take a shimmer on the rest of my lid. Yeah, I really do like this color. I think it looks a little bit brighter on the lid than in the pan. <laughs> Can you see a shit? I actually think it does. And you know what? I'm all for it. Okay, I think this look is going to be good. Maybe I jinxed myself now, I don't know. But so far, so good. I'm feeling a little bit stressed for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> like, I need to keep this up so I don't fall asleep. Maybe it's that, I don't know. I have no idea. Do you know what? I really, really, really like this one. I don't know if I have used this shade like on this big amount of my eye. I don't think I have done that. I think I like only used it in my crease. And that was a big mistake because this looks freaking amazing. I love this. But also I do love orange shades so... Now I'm just going to find another brush. So for the rest of my lid I will go in with this light one. And I will see if I want to deepen it down like in my outer V with this one. I, I put on shimmer first and we will see how I feel. And I remember when I first used this palette and I used the shimmers in it. I was like blown away, do you see? If you've used some of Shroud's shadows or maybe you've used the Creepy Cute, you know like the pigments are amazing in that palette and like when I tried it I was like okay they do an amazing matte formula and then I bought this palette with two shimmers in and I'm like it cannot be the same it cannot be super amazing shimmers as well, but you know what? It is. I really do like it. I hope that the camera can like catch how it looks. I'm a little bit surprised over myself. That I like this kind of look. Maybe I am. And like, I don't know what's up with me. I cannot talk today. But do you have some day? Okay, like English is not my first language. <laughs> but like Swedish. 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 That is my first language. Some days. It's like it's my third language. Some days it just feels like I can't speak like at all. 
and maybe I have it one of these days. <laughs> so maybe like filming a video wasn't a smart move, but here I am putting makeup on, trying to have a conversation with you. Okay, so even though I like this light look, I actually will go in with Freya, this dark one, and put it in my outer corner, just because I want some depth, 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 depth with. I think I have a cat here somewhere. Like, I don't know if you can see this, hopefully not, but I'm like filled with white cat hair. I did pick up in this little bit before I started filming and as you see I have black on and I put her down and I was like half of Ines is still on me. Sometimes I wonder like getting two white cats maybe was not the best choice. So I think that made it look a little bit more fun. So. <laughs> I'm done with the lids like this. I really like this. I really hope that the camera can pick it up. I think it looks kind of good in the viewfinder. So I will fix the rest of my face and then we do the under eyes. I think I will continue with the same shades. Maybe take something matte as an inner corner highlight in the inner corner shade. We will see. I will fix my base and then I'll come back. It feels like my face is chaotic. I'm just taking a journey in my base drawer right now and it's not going good. I am currently using the Nabla Skin Realist. I have a little bit of problems with the shade of this. It feels a little bit too dark. It needs to like really adjust to my skin and sometimes it takes a while and sometimes I have tried it with a primer on, it works good. Sometimes I have tried it with a primer and it doesn't work and I don't know today. And it looks like I'm a little grease ball. It doesn't look uh, like a good glow so do you know what? You know that you are like, on a chaotic channel, so just deal with it. I think I will take Aphrodite, Af Af Aphrodite on my lower lash. I think that actually might be enough. We'll see how it looks when I take it on, but hopefully it works just with this. Sometimes I can feel like shades, because I'm using a denser brush, it sometimes feel like it can be a little bit darker than it's on my lid down here, but then it usually goes good together with my outer corner on my lid, so yeah, it usually works out good with only one color underneath my eye. So for my inner corner, I think I want to do something stupid and I think I want to try to take this yellow one and see how that will look. This is stupid because it's not like such a bright yellow. Okay. I tap it off. And I might destroy the look now. I did not. I think it works. Whew. I think this actually worked really good. So I will put something in my waterline, put on mascara, try to choose a lip over this right now. I have no idea what I want to have on my lips, but I will search a little bit. Do I want to match the eyes or do I not want to match the eyes? That's the question. So I will fix that and then I'll come back. For my waterline, I took NYX Snatched, and on my lips, I took Gold Digger from Colourpop. 
And I do really like this eye look. I think it's bright but, and fun, but it's not like, I don't know. I just like it, okay? <laughs> Is that okay? So the shadows I used um, I was this one on my lid, inner corner, crease and lid, and lower lash crease and deepen it out, deepen it down out in my outer V. And yeah, I like the look, I like the palette. I have a cat here now. Maybe I can show you. Wait. It feels like you often get to see Ines, and <laughs> this is Astrid, our main coon. Yeah, hello. Here she is. She doesn't want to sit in my lap because she wants to explore things. But now you've seen her. <laughs> She's getting kind of big. Take it easy. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this is my second video for this week. Next one will be with Arcana palette and then it will be with um, It's Freaking Bats that Shroud did in collaboration with Betty Jean. And yeah, <sighs> cat tear everywhere. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you want to see more from Shroud, just keep on watching this week and I might do a palping in the end of the week and I might use some of the shimmers that I bought, I don't know, or if I should do maybe get rid with me with them or something else. I haven't decided yet. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!